buy that's really affordable and a really nice thing to add to your room. And I have it right here and it's just a chalkboard that started off as a piece of wood and now it's a chalkboard. So stay tuned so you guys can learn how to make your own. The first thing you're gonna need is any type of board to put the paint on, which is gonna serve as the blackboard. You are also going to need the chalkboard paint, which I purchased at Michael's and it was actually only 69 cents. I recommend using these foam brushes instead of regular brushes because regular brushes leave a streak. Along with the previous materials, you will also need another color of paint. You will also need Mod Podge, along with glitter, and some type of masking tape. Right here I have my wooden board and some of the brown is showing because I had to wash it off due to something that happened. But I just put the paint on and you're gonna wanna apply various layers because this brand is very thin. So that's why it streaks, but if you were to use a regular brush then it would streak a lot worse. You want to make sure that as you're applying it, the paint is going in one direction, so like up and down. You don't want it to be like going diagonally and up and down because that's going to take away from the uniform look and it's going to give it a more sloppier look. After the first coat, I added about five more coats and you can just add as many as you would like until you're satisfied. And you may see a couple streaks, but it's only because this is still drying. I began to place the masking tape on and I'm using the masking tape to create a border. So I recommend doubling the tape, which I didn't do at first, but the paint will go through depending on the brand that you're using. So once I applied the tape to one side, I just went ahead and applied it to the other side. Once I got my paint ready, I just began to paint it on around the border and it's okay if you get some on the tape, but try not to get some on the tape unless it's like doubled or tripled because like I said before the paint will go through. As you're painting the layers you may need to blob the paint on because the paint is very thin. Alright so once I did the top and bottom I just began to apply the paint on the two sides. Once you've done one side then just go ahead and place the tape on the other side and paint that too. Once the chalkboard was done being painted I let it dry and then I took my larger sp sponge brush and applied Mod Podge around the edges so that I could put glitter on it. After I put the Mod Podge on every side, I took my glitter and began to pour it on until I felt that it was a sufficient amount. After I put the glitter around the border, I just added a little bit more in the places that I felt needed some. I apologize for the lighting, but this is how the final product came out. Hope you liked it. Thank you guys so much for watching our videos and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks again. Bye. Hi guys. Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your own chalkboard. And... Oh my gosh, I already... Turn it, turn it off. Thank you guys so much. <laughs> how about my board? Why? Because it's too big? Yeah. Alright, go. Thank you so much for watching my video. Shop laugh. Shop. <laughs> Aww.